Hello, I'm Ken McDill. Attending a professional sporting event is an expensive proposition. After buying a wildly expensive ticket, the fan must pay for parking at game day inflated prices, then must pay exorbitant prices for concessions so the teams can pay the players who are making so much money it makes most fans' heads spin. Much of the cost of attending these events is a matter of supply and demand. The players make huge sums of money because the teams make huge sums of money, although a major portion of their income comes from advertising and marketing rather than ticket sales. But ticket sales are an area where supply and demand is toyed with, and perhaps to an illegal level. That's what New York Attorney General Eric Schneiderman plans to find out. The NYAG office is investigating the National Football League for antitrust violations related to the secondary sale of game tickets. Secondary sale means ticket brokers. StubHub is one of the most popular sports ticket brokers operating nationally, but there are perhaps hundreds of places one can get tickets to games when the team itself is sold out of available tickets. These ticket brokers acquire tickets when they go on sale to the general public with the intention of jacking up the price when the game is sold out. The NYAG office investigated that practice and found that automated so-called ticket bots are used by brokers to outbuy the general public. The ticket bots can purchase thousands of tickets in seconds and can even outmaneuver the rule for a maximum number of tickets per sale, which the general public is forced to abide by. But the big sin of the NFL is with their official secondary market sell marketplace sellers. Such resellers often have a price floor, an amount the league demands ticket prices cannot go lower than. The price floor is often the face value of the ticket. So when a team is out of playoff contention but still has games to play and the fan who wants to attend a game anyway finds that he cannot get a discounted price on a ticket, it's because of a price floor. That's illegal. It's anti-trade. Similarly, many NFL teams tell season ticket holders that if they sell their ticket in the secondary market, with an unaffiliated broker, they can lose their right to season tickets forever. Again, that goes against the free market and offends the NYAG. General public tickets should not only go to the general public rather than to brokers, and they should be allowed to be sold at the going price the market bears. I'm Kent McDill. Thanks for watching.